Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy DJ J Steezy. DJ Jedi. Today's special guest, we got JJ from JJ's Barbecue. Yeah, sorry. Something, something different, man. What's good, right. y'all? A little bit. Yeah. Sorry, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and it smells bomb. Right? You want to see? You want to see? You want to see? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Huh? Go, ahead, go ahead. Let's go. Show the camera. Yeah. Mmm, mm, yummy. And that homemade barbecue sauce. Yeah. Nice. It's for me. <laughs> I'll share a little bit. A little you, bit. you can lick the cap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So what's going on, JJ? Not much. Just, you know, I'm trying to get this promoted a little bit more and get more, you know, customers coming in. Right. Trying to build everybody's uh, health and other, you know, stuff. <laughs> All right. So, um... So what made you jump into doing barbecue? I mean, you got to look at the valley. Mm -hmm. We don't got no good barbecue. No, no. We got Famous Dave's. That's sad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to clown on Famous Dave's. Cause no, shout I mean, out to Famous Dave's in case they ever want to play. They're they're chain link, so obviously they made it big, pretty big. Right. Yeah. And so, I mean... But we needed something a little bit more homemade, a little bit more southern, you know, right. to bring back down here. Since I got family up in Texas, you know, okay. started looking at some of the recipes over there and boom, started coming out with some new stuff. All right. So what would you say like your specialty is here? Like, do you prefer like making ribs? Or do you prefer like making a brisket? Each meat that I do, I do differently. So, I mean, each type of meat that I'm, I'm messing with it's going to be done different it's going to taste different I never make the same thing right. honestly I try mm -hmm. obviously it doesn't work I mean I got hit in the head one too many times <laughs> <laughs> So, but I mean like for example this chicken right here mm -hmm. the, the base is always going to be the same with me mm -hmm. the spice ratio is going to be different okay. like this one's more of a tangy um, barbecue uh, the sauce, like I said, like I mentioned earlier off camera, I mean, it's a, not too sweet, but it's more of a kick. Okay. Mm -hmm. The base for the chicken when it's cooked in, and usually I have it more, you know, juicy, more this and that, but I was kind of in a rush today, trying to mm -hmm. deal with the one-year-old plus cooking. Yeah. Yeah. I think because, you know, what it comes down to is, I would say, consistency, you know, because a lot of people are like, you know, you go try something, and it's like, all right, you know, you like it. It's like, when you go back, you expect to have the, the same, you know. I, so, I, I that's agree with people you. fall in love with strippers. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> like, I'll get you out of here. I'll take care of your baby. Well, that's a good <laughs> <answer, like, laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry, but I mean, I'm pretty sure that's m more towards me because, you know, I have a little history of, you know, being, <laughs> on, channel, being, huh? being a little something, something. <laughs> No, but no, um, the consistency, the food's always going to taste amazing with me. Right. That, that, that's the number one thing I can guarantee you. Like, um, he's had a few on my plates, right, Jedi? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. It's bomb. So, I oh, mean. So that's not for me then, right? <laughs> <laughs> I had some. Not all. Oh, oh, man. So, I mean, my brisket is more or less going to be the same. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know that right now. Like, a lot of people here in the Valley, especially those who smoke their briskets here, mm -hmm. they love that fat. Me personally, I don't. Okay. So I trim as much of the fat that I can, leave a little bit on so it still st stays nice and juicy. I'll throw it on the smoker for mm -hmm. six, 12 hours, give or take, depending on how low I cook it. If I'm trying to do something fast, because I mean, I'll run out of plates. So obviously, mm -hmm. I don't have that 12 hours <laughs> when right. I need to have plates in like an hour. Right. So I mean, I got another method that's just as good as the smoker. I was going to say, because how do you have that patience? How, like, I can't. Right? Like, I want to microwave it sometimes. I just start smoking the meat like at 4 in the morning. <laughs> oh, I, I usually start doing it around 2. Right. Oh, man. Yeah, like, so. with my new, uh, with my job right now, I mean, sometimes I don't, I get off at 1 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, cool. I get off at 1 and get home at around 1.30, because, I mean, I work in Heber. Right. Start cooking right away. 
I mean, I, it takes me 30 minutes just to prepare the meat with the, the base, like how it looks right here. But obviously more saucier, you know. Yeah. Gotcha. And you enjoy catering? Um, or would you like to open up like a restaurant one day? Or what's your goal for this? My goal is pretty much to open up a restaurant. Cool. I mean, catering is all fun and everything. And, you know, you get to travel and go other places, but kind of messy in the car i'll say what about like a food truck something in the middle honestly preferably i would want a food truck that and honestly I'm, I'm looking at some of the stuff and i, I found a few yeah. but you know will we fit in there with you <laughs> <laughs> oh trust me plus us and plus a bunch of other people yeah. wow. but i mean i found i found a few that i like i really really love and it's like it's a whole truck plus a smoker in the back or the uh. smoker inside inside of it i'm like that looks pretty good. Uh, it would be good, kind of complicated to have the smoker while moving the vehicle, but then again, I don't know. Not, not really. No. The way the way that they have everything set up, and I'm, and even if I were to make my own, mm. I, I figured out how to work with it, mm. and it's one easy task. Just you have the vents on top. Yeah. Everything starts going outside, and put every, put the wood and everything in one corner make sure nothing's flammable in that one corner and boom i mean the only thing you're going to have to touch up is maybe the paint every now and then but if you get the the stuff to prevent all that you're good as you can tell i've done my research on it let's start a go <laughs> let's do this i'm hungry <laughs> you know it's just barbecue is just you know it's, it's something like, different down it, here it is you know what i mean a lot of people is like, you know, like I got I got cousins in Texas also, you know, and then, and it's like, oh, you're gonna go to a barbecue, and you know, what do they have? Carne asada. Yeah. You know, you know, I want to go to a barbecue where it's just like, I want to go to like a Compton barbecue. You know oh, what I mean? So he misses that lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I took it for granted. <laughs> you know, and it's just, yeah, and you know, it is what it is, man. You know, it's like barbecue. You know, from barbecue chicken to ribs to you know. And, um, you know, when I was in L.A., I actually, um, I invested in a, in, a, in a smoker because what got me into it was watching Barbecue Pitmasters. Yeah. I thought yeah. you meant like a drug addict. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's, it. that's pretty good. You got them on the streets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, so watching Barbecue Pitmasters, you know, it's just like, man, I got to try this. You know, and it's just like, like you said, it's a lot of work. You know what I mean? So I was just like, man, you know what? I ain't got time for that. You know, yeah. so so what what gave you that niche to sort of like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm just, I'm gonna do barbecue, you know, and I'm gonna just go for it like did you have an epiphany? It's just it was like you know Yeah, he was hungry, dog. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I mean, when aren't I hungry? That's all I know. It's like I'm a, I'm a hungry twenty four seven. Yeah. And I'm looking down here in the valley, I'm like, you know what? Everybody's ate everything here in the valley. Going from all the way to Mexicali, not being part of the valley, being in a different country. But yeah. still, we go there, we eat the tacos over there, coming all the way down to Nyland. Because the post for the veterans in uh, Bombay, mm-hmm. I mean, it's a little bit past Nyland, but they sell food over there. Everybody's ate everywhere, once at least. Especially you guys being, you know, in the older generations, I'm not trying to be mean. No. But, yeah, you know... Nice. You guys ate in every <laughs> little place. Yeah. Either they closed down already, or they're still surviving. Yeah, and it's true, man. Because you know, being the valley, it's like you, know, you get up and you're like, or you like, or, you know, you come home from work and you don't feel like cooking. Oh, what are we gonna eat? You know, and you're like, ah, you know, typical McDonald's, Carl's Jr. You know, and it's just we have an app for that now. It's like Jack. <laughs> Carl's, Taco Bell, diarrhea. But you know what I mean. But what I'm saying is, is that <laughs> everything is just the same. You know, it's just, and sometimes you even get tired of eating because there's it's all the same shit. Yeah. Yeah. And, and see, my thing is like, I mean, I was pretty much thrown in the kitchen and start cooking for myself. Right. My mom made sure. You know what? You're gonna get hungry. I don't want to always want to cook for you. You're going to go cook by yourself. Right. Well, you guys want to hear a funny story? Yeah. So a four-year-old little boy started trying to cook because his mom was asleep, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> all bad. All bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's all bad. So 
smoke started going around the house. Well, this little boy didn't, you know, cut off the plastic off the chorizo, so he burnt the chorizo. Oh. <laughs> hey, but you were for it, uh... <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, I was for it, but I mean, I was crying like a little girl because, I mean, I didn't want to get in trouble. <laughs> right. hey, were you cooking the chorizo with the fork? <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 I'm curious. <laughs> no. Uh, I, honestly, I don't, I don't remember, remember, so I can't recall. Gotcha. But, I mean, the plastic was still on the chorizo, and, you know, I burnt it. I thought I was going to have to be eating it. No, I mean, I was four. I, I didn't know. So my mom was just laughing at me. Right. I'm looking at her. It's not funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I mean, that's what started me being into cooking. I went to college uh-huh. for uh, culinary for a few months. Okay. I mean, cooking part, I aced it. Right. All that stuff, I can do. You know, with one hand, I can do it. But the book work... I'm not one of those normal people where, you know, I can do all the book work, like, you know, at least with a decent grade. No, right. it, it takes me more time and it's honestly wasting my money just, you know, to get that degree. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of good. You know, I just started, I started going into the homemade uh, barbecue around that time because I started doing, doing a club. I was one of the co-founders for that club for the school. Oh, okay. So we're like, okay, you know. And the guy that introduced me to the barbecue, he's all like, yeah, we're going to work with vinegar. We're going to do it with ketchup. I'm like, yeah, you're going to do that. <laughs> so all my barbecue sauce does not have ketchup, vinegar, mustard, whatever. It's all sugar, certain liquids, and, you know, my spices. I mean, I, can't, I, I can't tell you guys everything. I can't tell you guys oh, everything. Course, right? yeah. <laughs> but, I mean... But guarantee, like, example, finally you get to eat. Yes. So whoever part. wants to cut a piece, and then you I'll guys cut you a little piece and I'll eat the rest. <laughs> cool. Like this one already? It's just, just, a, just a try. Here you go, sir. I'm not going to double dip it. Don't worry. And you see how thick that barbecue sauce was, though? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That was bomb. It does have a kick, though. Yeah. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> like, I was waiting for it because you told me. And I was like, no, it's good. And I'm like, oh, 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 yeah. Took me like five, five, six seconds. So, well. so you see what I mean? It's different. Mm-hmm. Hope you enjoyed it. So that, <laughs> like I said, that vinegar, ketchup-based barbecue. All right. Don't Don't get me wrong. It, it's all good. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll eat it every now and then, but me personally, I, I hate vinegar. I hate condiments, to be honest. Don't ask how I eat my burger. You guys would be ashamed. <laughs> but the way that I do my barbecue sauce, it's never going to be like anybody else. Gotcha. So when you ask for that barbecue ribs, wait until you start, uh, just to let everybody know that what they had tried was my sugar-free barbecue sauce. Like I mentioned earlier, mm-hmm. it has a kick in it. Not overpowering, but I mean, catches you off guard. Yeah. No, you can definitely tell this is not store bought, uh-huh. big time. Yeah, it's um, it's totally different. It has... I thought you were gonna say the ingredients, like <laughs> try to guess them. <laughs> no man, I, I can't even, I can't even go there and guess them. But I didn't even yeah. know they use like what would you say earlier that they use in regular. Ketchup, uh, vinegar. I didn't even know they use ketchup. Uh, sometimes they use mustard. Doesn't ketchup already have vinegar? Uh, depending on which one, yeah. A, a lot of the stuff that you you see in stores, they all based on uh, vinegar, right. just so they can last longer. Oh, so okay. the best thing about mine... That's cucumbers. <laughs> no. <laughs> best thing about mine is it's going to last a while. Cool. You keep it in the fridge, mm-hmm. that's where it's going to last the longest. Keep it out, it'll still last you, you know, a few months. You ever think about just oh. selling on the side? Actually, it's going to start coming that way. No I shit. I bought some of these jars, as you guys can see right here. Uh-huh. Nah, I gave them the idea for I'm going to take a cut. <laughs> ah, oh, I'm going to take a cut. I'm going to start doing... Like um, me, bro. I know. <laughs> damn, I'm fucking rubbed off and shit. I'm going to start selling these small jars for about five bucks. I'll get you some stickers, dog. <laughs> I got the stickers done. Damn it. <laughs> Give me the tummy head sticker. <laughs> So, I mean, I got my product where I need to start doing the barbecue sauce. 
even my rubs I'm gonna start selling and I got like different types of rubs I got like those who love spiciness yeah trust me they're gonna love it they're gonna probably think like uh, he doesn't know what he's talking about he can't do this like nah no, I, I bet you can and um my favorite and honestly the best creation I've ever made and it's for mainly ribs brisket and um uh pulled chicken to be honest Ooh, for sandwiches it's um, um a cherry uh glaze with mm. a cherry um barbecue sauce damn yeah yeah I don't know why this food is turning me on sorry <laughs> <laughs> um where can the people reach you if they want to place an order or like want to get you like to cater an event? So at the current moment, I'm doing mainly catering. Um, I'm going to start doing plates in about the next few weeks. Hell yeah. So, I mean, the plates are obviously are going to be a lot cheaper. Um, prices did have to go up just because, you know, of course, course yeah. everything's going up and, and you know, I get a cut. So it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I mean, I didn't, me personally, I didn't want to, you know, start doing prices going up because I mean, I want to try to keep it affordable. Right. But I mean, I also got to go with the product, and if yes. the product is gonna cost me more, yeah, obviously sure. I need them at least break even or, you know, nah, make yeah, a little extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there, there, yeah. honestly, there's sometimes that I just want to make sure I break even, mm. and I do, you know, people favors because you know, it's not just about the business for me. It's about showing people what I love, and it's gonna guarantee you know that clientele. Mm. Sure. Because I mean. What I what I make out of profit for catering is a lot more than what I make for, you know, the plates. Gotcha. For catering, I mean, I did a personal catering, and it was only one time. A guy knew me for years. He never tried any of my food, though. Mm -hmm. He was all like, you know what? My wife's birthday is on this day. Can I have, can I have, order all this? I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I'll do one whole tray. You pick two meats. Do two sides. And they're big trays. I mean, it's worth the money. Mm -hmm. And trust me, he his family loved it. His wife was like, damn. Dope. <laughs> dope, dope. So, um, how many barbecue sauces do you have? Too many. One too many. Really? <laughs> so, if dep depending on what I'm trying to go with, like I said, I, I, I mess with it a lot. If I'm going to do a, a pulled uh, chicken... It's going to be, you know, more of a sweet tang. Mm -hmm. um, unless, you know, somebody requests for a spicy one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can make the spicy one in less than this and, you know, in five minutes. Well, less than five nice. minutes. But I'm always going to try to make, make it enough so I can get them mixed in with the chicken as well as to pour more on top. Wow. So the sweet, <laughs> the sweetness with regular sugar and everything it comes out a lot better, to be honest. This is pretty good, and the reason why you get more of a kick is because the it's sugar free, mm -hmm. and honestly, I'm still trying to work with different types of sugars so it doesn't raise the sugars for those who are diabetic. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> right. So I mean, since I recently became diabetic, I especially got to look out for that. I mean, I I love consuming my own barbecue sauce, but I need to cut back. But you you couldn't even tell that you know. I don't know. If you wouldn't have told me, I would just. I mean, either way, I'm still gonna eat it. <laughs> Yeah, so you know, you like I said, you wouldn't even be able to tell if it was sugar free or not. You know, it's just, and then I like that you're, you know, you're eating it with a piece of chicken, and then, and then it just kicks in, you know, mm -hmm. that spice. And I was like, I'm about to take this this jar home right now. You know, so mm -hmm. <laughs> he said no. He said I'm gonna bite you. It's not happening. <laughs> but so, um, but yeah, barbecue sauce wise, like you you asked. I mean, I have plenty mm -hmm. going from. You you um be like uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. I'm gonna have that one thermometer right there. You're gonna tell me, you know, mild, you know, small kick all the way to hey, me. Maybe we should we spicy. should pay to do something like that, a challenge. Oh, and bring you back on. That would be dope. I can't do it because I'll die. But we'll we'll have one of our fans come in. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Maybe I mean, some of our, maybe some of our regulars or something to come up and like, hey, you know. Well, remember, you know, chicken wings go good with barbecue sauce, so, you know. Yeah. We need something really hot, lethal. No, I'm just kidding. The same oh, way trust you. me. <laughs> you, you'll be so, you think you would, you know, I would use, you know, ghost chili peppers in, you know, the lethal one? Nah. 
I I, I could substitute the ghost chili, and you guys, they would be like, okay, I regret this. Yeah. I'm sweating. Damn. Sorry. He said, substitute, <laughs> he said substitute the ghost peppers. <laughs> <laughs> How do you substitute ghost peppers? <laughs> oh, I got my methods. Yeah. He's got real ghosts. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 yeah, man, but no. like I said, um, I can't wait till you actually start selling plates, man, because I definitely want to try um, try your food, man. You know, like I said, the chicken is good. Um, yeah. <laughs> Just um, sure. I'm more of a rib and brisket guy. You know, so. Alright. That's, yeah. that, that, that's fair. I mean, you know, so. I'm Mexican. You're Mexican? <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, man. So, you know. What's the link? On, uh, where so, you, pretty platforms? much on uh, Facebook. Mm-hmm. And on Facebook, uh, it's in JJ's Barbecue. Okay. On Instagram, honestly, I gotta look that back up because I rarely use the Instagram. I know I, I messaged you. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Uh, honestly, I had I, I felt bad. Just um, somebody, food. somebody, uh, messaged the Instagram, mm-hmm. and uh, that that's some of the other food that I cooked for from the barbecue. There's steak. There's you know, sandwiches. Um, so somebody messaged, um, the Instagram account and I felt bad because, you know, they're asking help for one of their coworkers. Mm-hmm. And this was a few months back. Well, that coworker's house burned down oh, and they lost shit. everything. So, you know, I did a, a promo. I didn't raise my prices or anything. I didn't, I didn't break even. I told them, well, I, okay, I broke even, but barely, <laughs> but I told them like whatever plates I sell. Half of the money that I, I get mm-hmm. is going to go to help them. Honestly, I didn't sell as much as I would like. But, I mean, uh, 2 to $3, you know, still helps out a little. Yeah, yeah. of course, man. So, yeah, like okay. I said, this were some of the plates that I've already made and, you know, put together. And that's pretty much about all I can say. All right. Now, have you thought of, like, also doing, like, maybe, like, um, farmer market, like, yeah, Imperial? You know, have, you, have you looked into that? Yeah. I have honestly looked into it. Um, what gets to me is the the license, the money oh, for the license. Okay. Like I said, I, if it wasn't that much, because I mean it's usually like two to three hundred bucks, and then plus I still gotta, because I mean all the stuff, all the product that I buy, is out of town. Mm-hmm. I gotta go to San Diego. I gotta go to San Bernardino. I got. You know, mm-hmm. I wish it was in one nearby me where it's like Yuma or Palm Springs. Oh, I would be so happy if it was in one of those two places. Right. I don't have to be on a, a road for four hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, it's not really worth it at that time and moment. Okay. But I mean, once I start getting more people, you know, possibly I'll be able to quit my job and, you know, start focusing on this 24-7. And that's my goal for right now. Yeah. And then start putting money more to the side to, for the food truck. I mean. That food truck is what I'm trying to get at, because at least with the food truck, I can go somewhere here in the valley, park in one spot, as long as I ask the city, it's okay, and then, you know, go start selling for the day, and then, you know, if I want to, go to San San Diego. I mean, they they have good barbecue spots out there, Mm -hmm. but, you know, one more and something new, and obviously something different is going to come out a lot better. Dude, that's awesome that, like, you thought outside of here, like. It's cool here. It's something different, but like, shit, everyone should be able to taste this. Mm-hmm. I see. My my thing is like, doing it here. It's a good start, and it gets something new for us. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not saying like half the Imperial Valley are diabetic, but I know quite a few people are. Mm-hmm. This is, I mean, barbecue sauce, and um, some most of the time they love barbecue sauce, but it's not something that you know yeah. they can really eat too much because well. Right. The yeah. sugar. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm trying to bring something new to the plate. That's dope, too. They sell it. They sell some sugar-free stuff in the stores, but I mean, like no flavor. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't know. I mean, I like I said, I'm picky about my barbecue sauce, and since I started making my own, yeah. I've never bought from the store, and it's been about ten years already. Wow. Uh-huh. So I mean, I found methods. I found what works. Nice. So um. As far as like the barbecue sauce, because you see, you want to sell the barbecue sauce, you want to sell the, the the rub, 
Yeah, you're different. How many rubs do you have? Um, the rub, it's gonna go based off of four. Okay. There's gonna be you know a savory, a salty, obviously a spicy, and you know a little bit of mixture of a sweet and spicy. Mmm. Cause I, a sweet and spicy rub on a, on a brisket. That would be good. Well, it comes out pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I'm just. <laughs> One of, one of my first ones, briskets, I made it that way, and Those are customers loved it. Let's go, just so you know, I'm going to start the t-shirt lane. I rub you the right way. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a picture of his meat on the back. Wait, that's <laughs> right. that's <laughs> but it would probably sell. <laughs> so what's your, what's your end goal, man? I, I understand you want your own restaurant, a food truck, but as far as like the rub and the... And the barbecue sauce do you want to take it into markets you know mm, that's a good question you know what Costco I want it to go wherever it leads to if it leads up into the markets amazing Shark Tank <laughs> <laughs> but if it just stays in local areas right. you know what that's just as good I right. mean I'm not going to be picky about it I'm not going to go around the world and be like yo you got everybody has to try this no, I mean, you got to start off somewhere. And that start off, it'll take years. It'll take decades. It, it all depends. Yeah, cool. So I'm cool with anything. Nice, man. Yeah, so uh, I said you, you said so you, you're not really active on Instagram, right? Sadly, no. Um, I do post closer to Facebook and Snapchat. Mm -hmm. um, but my girl does, you know, the Instagram part um, when ever I remember to send her the pictures, which I tend to forget. I mean, I'm, come on, I'm waking up at 2 o'clock in the morning to start these meats. That's right. true. That's yeah. very true. Uh, Gotta take care of your meat. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's the second shirt. <laughs> and you know what I mean? Hey, you know, like I said, we'll be more than happy to also, you know, um, send us, you know, if you want to send us, in, send it on our messenger, you know, we'll, you know, hey, check out JJ's barbecue. You know, they're gonna say more samples. Send us more, more samples too. Why not? Yeah, um, a variety <laughs> <laughs> or like a variety plate. Mm. Yeah, and maybe yeah. slang it at your work. Yeah, man. You know, just yeah, you know, whatever we could do to help you out. You know, I mean, you know, vice versa, man. You know, that's yeah, you know, and that's I think like we always say it on this show. Mm -hmm. That's the thing with the valley. You know, what I mean. Nobody wants to see somebody else come up. You know, it's always like, you know, putting somebody down. You know, and this is like, there's plenty to go around with different things. You know, so just might as well lift each other up. You with know? the forklift. <laughs> he said with the forklift. <laughs> hey, pretty heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take it, though. Let's just do it. Yeah, so, you know, so, um, but like, like Jedi said, you know, you know, a lot of people don't think outside the box. Like, you want to take it, you know, San Diego, you know. So we can take it even to L.A., you know. Road trip. Yeah. Let's go. You know. <laughs> Let's go. I'm, I'm down. down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Uh, you know, so, yeah, man, wherever it can take you, wherever, you know, you can post up, you know. It's just, it's just um, networking, man. That's, that's one of the main keys, and, of course, you know, good product, which we tasted, and you do have good product, man. You do. Yeah. I never knew this side of you, man. Uh, you know? <laughs> We've known this dude for a while. Yeah. Um, me, from the clubs to even before then, uh, the teen center, working security. Uh, it was barely, what, like two years ago or three when I, I discovered you cooked. Um, it was longer than that. I said it was barely last year. It was last year barely? Yeah. Oh, shit. Fucking pandemic. It felt like forever. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, it's like, I was like, that's what good. So I was like, I gotta try it. I gotta try it. But yeah, I've always known him to be like that crazy food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Crash. Yeah. Everybody knows me being pretty crazy. I mean, it, well, what was the one thing you said? Shit, Something like crazy. Deadpool? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this food's crazy, so I gotta try it. <laughs> Not your crazy. <laughs> right. Crazy JJ's barbecue. Oh, <laughs> shit. Uh, so, but now, man, you know, like I said. Um, that's the third shirt. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I get like 2% off of that? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, 
Yeah, like I said, I never knew, you know, the side of you, man, and, and it's good. We all have hidden talents, and this is a talent because, you know, for you to make your own rubs and make your own barbecue sauce, you know, I can't go in the kitchen and do that <laughs> shit, you know? And um, I said, I probably can, but it's not going to, you know, it's like I said, there's always a consistency. You mm -hmm. know, for example, I have a comadre that she makes the, to me, it's like the best, best damn potato salad, yeah. you know? I could try to imitate it and try to copy it as much as possible, but it's not ever going to come out the same. You know, yeah. Same thing with your cheesy potatoes, bro. Thank you, bro. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, now I'm going to have to try some of that. Oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> See? And it's just, I could, I, I could taste everybody else's cheesy potatoes. He's but lagging. When, no, when he makes his, you know, it's just like I said, it's consistency. You know, you have, you have a certain, it's like a certain, you know, I don't know what it is. It's like you put a certain... Sperm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's all love. love. Today. It's, it's, love. Love. I know, it's love, dog. Love. Like, you know, sperm is love. Yeah. The, best, the one thing is you guys need to try, I don't know if you if I served it with the plate for you, sure. was my homemade mac and cheese. Yes. I never bad. buy store-bought. I always make it fresh. And yeah, trust yeah. me, I mean. Mac and cheese is bomb, dude. I need a charola of mac and cheese. I need a whole tray. You know what? A tray of mac and cheese. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, so, and you know, now do you do you price people on how to like as far as pricing goes? How do you the pricing? It goes based off what they're gonna order. Okay. Um. Obviously, the brisket, the ribs are the most expensive. Right. Mm -hmm. And the tri tip too. Well, actually, no, the ribs aren't aren't as expensive as the tri tip, which honestly I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. yeah. But. It just depends try, on the orders, the, too. Like, how many orders you get in yeah. like for catering or whatever. So, if, for example, if you need something for 100 people, right. well, I mean, that 100 people is going to start going up towards, like, you know, 1,500 to 2,000. Right. And it's just because, you know, to get that much meat mm -hmm. and to waste my gas to go out of town and everything, and that one, I would have to take a trip to San Diego because where I shop at, they have three stores. So I would have to jump to each store just to make sure I have enough meat. Right. And because, I mean, if I don't have enough meat, I mean, everybody's going to get mad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, man. You know, yeah, it's just, you know, like I said, everything, I think it also comes down to a science. Yeah. You know, it, it really does, you know, how much you serve and everything. It's just, you know, like I said, it comes down to science. Um, but yeah, so like, let's say, do you do you already have like a menu set out, or or is it just based on like, say, oh, this is what I offer. See, when I start talking about the barbecue, everybody starts, you know, thinking carne asada, pollo asada, <laughs> you know, all right. that, all that stuff, right? Right. I tell them no, you know, yes, I do that, but. We we have that here just already. We have mm. too much of that stuff. I'm bringing American barbecue, but I do let people know that you know I don't do just American barbecue. I do a variety of barbecue. Whatever's on the grill, mm. I can do. Now, is it going to be tasting the same from what you're used to, like in a chain link restaurant? No, it's not going to be the same. Right. Um, me personally, it might be better, but I mean, I'm not everybody. I'm just my own person. So to me, like this, is one of the one of the good chickens I know how to make. I mean, I can make chickens in twenty five different ways. Oh shit! Between on the stove, in the oven, on the grill, air fryer, air fryer too. Yeah. Nice. So even, I mean, even healthier. It goes in different ways. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So whatever's on the grill, I can do. Nice, man. Yeah. So, um, is there anything else to touch on? I'm fucking hungry, dog. <laughs> Jeez, Wrap it up, up dog. Right. <laughs> you guys need oh. to leave. <laughs> I'm on alone time with this chicken. <laughs> Before oh, he starts man. eating, he's going to be like, you know what? We finally got our alone time. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, man. I don't know. It's just a thing with barbecue, huh? It's yeah. just, you know, like I said, because we hardly don't see it here you know especially you know like i said then you're offering different different types of barbecue 
and that, that's, that's that's cool. But um, but yeah, man, you know, like I said, we're here to help you promote it and and um, eat it. Yeah, definitely. So um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> but nah, man, um, you're welcome to come back on the show, or if you have an event, or you want us to plug you for anything, um, family, man, you already know. Yeah, that sounds good. This guy, like, I know he's not want to talk about it but this guy has supported me us since day one i've never asked him for a goddamn thing when i would dj the club this fool would show up always buy me a fucking drink and i appreciate that from the bottom of my heart so it's like you know what when we asked you to come through for the trust me yeah he showed up we we wanted to make sure people had drinks we didn't know if they were really going to drink them or not, but yeah, he made sure to drink <laughs> one of the videos, and he had a good time. He had a good time. We had a good time. Yeah. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, man. I, me- I remember that night. Oh, that was, I had a pretty good hangover the next day. <laughs> the reason I know he was, like, tipsy, because he was quiet. Like, he's never quiet. He was just, like, he, w- he was just... <laughs> I don't even think there, there was music playing. He was still. Oh, <laughs> but anyways, but thanks for coming to the show, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, yeah. I said, let's turn on this camera so we can uh, we can grab on this. Let's dig in. All right, this is mine. This all this. Right here. <laughs> Push you another little piece so you can try the barbecue. <laughs> anyways, thanks you guys for yeah. watching. All right, man. Peace. Peace. <laughs>